a decade ago, a North Texas veteran was shot while serving our country. Now, after 12 very long years, he's finally back home. And as the I-Team's Jason Allen reports tonight, this was a journey his family wishes they never would have gone through. They would fly Chad back on a private When Vicki Ray got a letter from the VA in November that her son Chad could receive neurobehavioral treatment close to home, it was joy followed by disappointment over the holidays when she learned the VA Choice Program wouldn't pay for it. If this doesn't work, what, what is Chad's option? There is no option. This has to work. It was another hurdle in a race to recovery Chad Snowden has run for years. For the boy who once wanted to be a pro golfer, plans changed when he was shot in the head in Iraq in 2004. Medics were able to get him out of Iraq to Germany, and doctors there were able to stabilize him enough to get him over to the U.S. He was treated in Washington and then sent to Virginia and then over to Dripping Springs, Texas to a rehab facility. Then there was a mental illness facility in Waco and then a psych ward and then a nursing home. And at one point he was even released to an apartment out on his own. I don't think they understood, you know, really what was needed for him. All you're doing is getting drugs and you're maybe talking to a counselor. Um, you're not getting the proper rehabilitation that a brain injured person needs to get. His care has taken longer, for sure. That's a, that's a different part of it. He's been through multiple programs. The chief of staff for the VA in Dallas told us the last decade was full of attempts to try something different to see if it helped. When it didn't, his mother took over, raising money to send him to a facility she chose in Michigan. But I believe they thought he would not make it through this program. But Chad did. When the VA's choice program initially said no to moving Chad closer to home, though, Dallas VA officials told us they would look for a local solution. The number of veterans who get care in Dallas outside of VA facilities continues to go up from 15,000 cases in 2013 to what's estimated to be more than 38,000 by the end of this year. Actually, had to have discussions with National about, you know, what are we able to do, um, discussions with uh, benefits. And this week, the VA in Dallas got the deal done. Chad flew home and checked into his new home with full time care close to family. I'm so glad you're home. The veteran, some once deemed a lost cause, has found a home um, thanks to a mother determined to find a way to get him here. I don't care how much they have to spend. My son and every veteran that served this country deserves the best care, and they should have got it from the very beginning. In Dallas, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. One more ad on this from Jason. He says this was not an easy arrangement for the VA to figure out, and Vicki Ray hopes, though, in the end, it can open the door to other veterans who want or need to get this type of care anywhere they want or anywhere their families would like it to have happen.